Meet the superfast train going at 603 kilometers per hour. It's not like regular trains because it doesn't have normal wheels. It hovers above the ground. So what exactly these trains are and which countries own them and what will be the next technology after them? To find out all of this, stick around until the end of the video. So let's get started. Trains with super fast speed and no wheels? Sounds like a science fiction story, right? But in reality, these trains are known as maglev. They float above a track using magnetic forces, unlike traditional trains, which eliminates rolling resistance, providing a smooth and friction-free ride. Maglev technology relies on the fundamental principles of magnetism to levitate and propel trains. This innovative approach replaces traditional wheels and tracks with a special electromechanical system, forming the foundation of maglev systems. In these systems, five main components work together seamlessly – levitation, guidance, input power transfer, propulsion, and control systems. Among these, levitation technology plays a crucial role, enabling the train to glide effortlessly over an invisible cushion of air. There are various methods for achieving this levitation magic. In electrodynamic suspension EDS, magnets on the train repel from those on the track, initially relying on regular wheels until reaching a certain speed. Electromagnetic suspension EMS, employs magnets that attract to the track's magnets, providing stability even when the train is stationary. After achieving levitation, the guidance system ensures the train stays on course, using magnets to correct any lateral movement. To propel the train, linear motors push it forward without physical contact, employing technologies like linear induction motors or permanent magnet linear synchronous motors. The entire system is controlled by sensors on the train that measure speed and position, allowing a control unit to adjust the power to the magnets ensuring a stable and precisely controlled ride. Maglev trains don't have wheels touching the tracks, so there's no rubbing or slowing down because of friction. Instead, they float on magnets to stay off the tracks and avoid this friction. And this allows maglev trains to achieve very high speeds, often reaching hundreds of miles per hour without slowing down. Maglev trains also have a sleek, and smooth design. It's like how a race car looks streamlined to go faster. This helps them move through the air more easily and stay stable when they go super fast. And due to the lack of physical contact between the train and the track, also minimizes noise and vibration. This not only provides a more comfortable experience for passengers, but also reduces the impact on the surrounding environment. Moreover, the reduced friction and vibration contribute to the overall durability of maglev trains. With fewer mechanical breakdowns, they are less susceptible to weather-related delays, making them potentially more reliable in adverse conditions. Currently, there are six operational commercial maglev projects worldwide. In South Korea, there are two maglev projects. One is the Korean Rotem Maglev, with an approximately 150 km per hour speed, 93 miles per hour. It covers a short distance of 1 km, 0.6 miles. It was developed by Hyundai Rotem, and another one is Incheon Airport Maglev, which was developed by Hyundai E and C, has a speed of approximately 110 km per hour, 68 miles per hour. The Incheon Airport Maglev operates from Incheon International Airport to Yongyu Station, covering a distance of 6.1 kilometers, 3.8 miles, and has six stops. In Aichi, Japan, close to Nagoya, there's a system called Linimo HSST Maglev. It was developed by Nippon Shario and Aichi Steel Corporation. Linimo has a speed of approximately 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour, and it is about 9 kilometers, 5.6 miles long. There are nine station stops along its route. In China, there are three commercial maglev projects. One of them is Changsha Maglev Express. With a speed of approximately 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour, it connects the city's airport to a station located 18.5 kilometers away. 
It was developed by CRRC Jujo Locomotive Company. Another commercial maglev is Beijing S1 line, which was developed by CRRC Tangshan Company. It also has a speed of approximately 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour, and there are seven stops along its route, covering a distance of nine kilometers, six miles. The Shanghai Maglev stands out as one of the fastest Maglev trains globally, reaching speeds of approximately 430 kilometers per hour, 267 miles per hour. Built at a cost of $1.2 billion, it holds the title of the longest commercial Maglev line, covering about 30 kilometers, 18.6 miles, and connecting downtown Shanghai with Pudong International Airport in a mere 7 minutes and 20 seconds. This high-speed marvel showcases the cutting-edge technology and engineering behind Maglev systems. Let's switch gears and talk about Maglev projects currently under construction. First up is the Chuo Shinkansen SC Maglev, connecting Tokyo and Nagoya. It's using fancy Maglev tech making the trip just 40 minutes. That's half the usual time. They're planning to extend it to Osaka in just 67 minutes. The company in charge, JR Central, is spending a whopping $52 billion on it. There are six stations along the way, and they've got these cool new maglev trains. This project is not just about faster travel, it's also creating jobs and helping the environment. Construction for the Chuo Shinkansen L0 maglev train in Japan began in 2014. During testing in 2015, the train set a world speed record of 603 km per hour. The expected operating speed is a bit slower at 505 km per hour, but can you imagine travelling on the ground that fast? Unfortunately, we'll have to wait a bit longer. The Chuo Shinkansen is scheduled to be completed in 2037. Meanwhile, in China, a new maglev train prototype was recently revealed in Qingdao. It's capable of running at a super-fast speed of 600 km per hour, with the introduction of the next-generation maglev train technology promising even greater speeds and efficiency. Well, the future of maglev trains is heading toward Hyperloop technology. It's a super-fast train that travels through special tubes, and it's Elon Musk's big idea. The Hyperloop system is like a network of tubes connecting hubs worldwide, where pods travel at super-fast speeds in a vacuum. Elon Musk proposed this revolutionary system in 2013, envisioning maglev trains in near-vacuum tubes reaching speeds of around 1,200 kilometers per hour. Although no commercial system is ready yet, there's hope to witness the first commercial Hyperloop in the next decade, or possibly within the next three years. Leading companies in the Hyperloop race include Virgin Hyperloop One, Hyperloop TT, Transpod, and Zaleros. So with such impressive achievements, one might ask, are maglev trains worth the hype? Before we answer this question, if you find this transportation tech interesting, hit the like button, subscribe, and now let's get back to the answer. Are these trains worth it or not? This exceptional transportation advancement isn't merely about breaking speed records, it actively shapes the economy. Enhancing connectivity between cities and popular destinations, maglev trains stimulate tourism growth, encouraging exploration and benefiting local businesses. The ongoing development of maglev infrastructure creates jobs, sparks economic activity, and contributes to cost savings, fostering increased economic interactions. Furthermore, the eco-friendly nature of maglev technology aligns with current sustainability trends, making regions with maglev systems more appealing to environmentally conscious tourists. A conservative estimate suggests that the nationwide gross domestic product, GDP, would experience a boost of $22.5 billion due to the construction of the SC maglev. Additionally, once the revenue service commences, there is a projected annual addition of over $500 million. Internal estimates indicate that taxes indirectly generated from the construction of the first phase of the SC maglev along the initial route could be approximately $600 million 
for state and local governments. 